So this is what we did with it. We ripped off all this metal cladding. We put acrylic stucco on there. We took out these windows, put in new windows, put in a nice slider here. This is a master bedroom. Put in a slider and we put a French rail on the front, dressed it up, and then just painted it. Okay, but it looks a lot nicer, doesn't it? Okay, here was the kitchens that we remember we got to go through and really see what these properties look like. There's the selling features. Okay, someone threw out the doors on this one. <laughs> Look at that stove, eh? Isn't that nice? <clears throat> yeah, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's kind of the European style, right? This is a nice brand new European kitchen. <laughs> yeah, old Eastern Europe. How can you tell the realtors in the room, eh? <laughs> Trying to market these things. Okay, so anyone got ideas for this thing? <laughs> a little bit of TLC. Okay, we ripped the whole thing right out. That's what we did. So we did granite countertops because the kitchen was very small. The granite was not a big, it was not a huge upgrade because it was small, but the effect that that had, the granite was huge. We poked a hole in this window here between the kitchen and the living room and put a granite here, and that really opened it up here also. And then we put tile all across the backsplash. These are brand new IKEA kitchen cabinets. We did a stainless steel hood, stainless steel fridge, and our stainless steel stove is right here. Someone stole it. No, I'm just kidding. It just didn't come in. <laughs> and then we had halogen track lighting. We always put halogens in the kitchens. It gives it that nice, warm, crisp feeling. So after we had renovated, and done that kind of an upgrade to it. Look at our actual market rents. $14.95 for the two uppers. $13.95 for one of the lowers and $12.95 for one of the lowers. Plus four garages at 100 bucks. So because we blew out those kitchens, we could then ask a premium rent. And these are the ones where we put in-suite laundry into it also. Because that, once you go up to that kind of price range, then those people want in-suite laundry. And we actually happened to have a room that was perfect for an in-suite laundry. So that's what we did. So now with this, we've got 72,000 in gross rents, minus off our expenses. We have $60,000 of net operating income. Now what's the building worth? Right, so what's it worth? How much? A million bucks, okay. Nine thirty-seven. Okay, so he's using a six point five cap, right? Very conservative, very conservative. Six point five. Okay, what cap rate were you using? Five point five. So one point one million is a five cap. Five point five cap. Okay, so you can start to see where the numbers are going to fall in, right? So if we look at this, with a six and a half cap, it's worth 938. Six cap, it's worth a million sixteen. Five and a half cap is worth 1.1. So it appraised at a million fifty based on the income method by the bank's appraiser. Okay. 